Right now, Sacramento police is investigating a deadly crash involving a police car and a motorcycle. It happened last night in Sacramento when the officer was going to a call. Roxanne Elias takes us to the scene and we hear from a legal expert on the possible outcomes. Broken glass and debris are still visible at the scene of a deadly crash involving a police car and motorcycle driver. It happened on Bell and May Street around 8 Monday night. The man, only described as an adult, died after being taken to the hospital. He has yet to be identified. According to the Sacramento Police Department, the officer was on the way to a call for service involving a felony in progress. The officer was in a marked car but did not have their emergency lights or sirens activated. ABC 10 reached out to attorney Mark Reichel. He says the law in California requires drivers to not be negligent and no one is exempt from traffic laws. Except when there's a verifiable emergency. Okay, an emergency means really uh, a risk of life, loss of life to someone, or grave harm to someone. Uh, those are the two real exceptions. And when, and when you do so, you have to, act, you have to activate uh, both the siren and the lights. Both are required. There is an exemption when an officer doesn't want to alert a suspect that they're coming. But he says that's a rare occasion. 100% of the time, the officer's priority is not how fast they can get to the scene but the safety of everybody on the route on their way to the scene. Because even if it is a felony in progress, in route, something like this happens, that's a bigger problem. He says the city could be liable if there wasn't a true reason for keeping the lights and siren off. And it could take up to three months to get a report after an investigation. The eyewitnesses and of course, um, you, you, there's, a, there's a dash cam on the car. There's an in-car camera mounted to the dash of the police vehicle. So that's going to be very important. The circumstances of the crash are under investigation as we gather details from police. But for now, detectives are asking anyone who may have information to contact Sacramento Police.